In the dim quarters of the White House, where history whispered from every corner, a sorrowful melody of grief and longing echoed through the halls during the dark years of the Civil War. Mary Lincoln, the First Lady, was engulfed in a sea of despair after the loss of her beloved son Willie in February of 1862. Her heart, heavy with sorrow, sought solace in the unseen world, leading her to the shadowy embrace of spiritualism, a beacon for many grieving souls during those tumultuous times. As the war raged on, claiming countless lives, Mary found herself drawn deeper into the realm of spiritual circles and seances, not just within the walls of the White House, but also at the serene presidential cottage at the soldier's home. It was believed that these sacred circles could bridge the vast chasm between the living and the dead, offering a glimmer of hope to those pining for just one more moment with their departed. One chilly autumn evening, under the soft glow of candlelight, Mary, alongside a small group of trusted confidants and a renowned medium, gathered around a modest table in a secluded chamber of the White House. The air was thick with anticipation as the medium invoked the spirits, her voice a soothing balm to the aching hearts around her. The flickering candles cast shadows that danced along the walls, as if spirits themselves were swirling around the room. As the medium's trance deepened, a cold breeze swept through the chamber, extinguishing the candles and plunging the room into darkness. A palpable sense of another presence among them sent shivers down their spines. Mary, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and yearning, whispered Willie's name into the darkness. In the silence that followed, a soft, ethereal voice filled the room. It whispered so faintly it was almost a sigh carried by the wind. Mary's breath caught in her throat as tears streamed down her cheeks. The voice, filled with the innocence and warmth she remembered so well, spoke of love and reassurance, telling her of a peaceful existence beyond the veil, free from the pain and turmoil of the earthly realm. But as quickly as the connection was made, it began to fade, the voice dissolving into the other, leaving behind a heavy silence. The medium, exhausted, relayed a final message from Willie, a promise that he would always watch over his beloved family, a guardian spirit in their times of need. In the days that followed, Mary's encounters with the spirit world became the subject of whispered rumors and wild speculation throughout the capital. Skeptics dismissed her experiences as the desperate illusions of a grieving mother, while believers saw them as proof of the soul's immortality. Yet for Mary, the seances offered a fleeting connection to Willie, a balm for her shattered heart. Though the veil between worlds remained a mystery, her son's spirit visits became a source of comfort and strength, a reminder that love, like the soul, knows no bounds. And so the White House, already a storied place, gained a new layer to its legend, a place where the veil between the living and the dead thinned by sorrow and longing, allowed for a brief reunions, whispering to the world the enduring power of love and the eternal bond between a mother and her son. Mother.